In this tutorial you will learn how to manage FileZilla server network configuration. Go to the server menu and select network configuration wizard. The welcome screen provides basic information about active and passive mode. The wizard will help you to configure your router and firewall to support passive mode. Set the range of ports that will be used for passive mode data connections. You can either set a custom port range or let the operating system decide. In any case you need to configure the appropriate port forwarding rules on the NAT device. Enter the host name or the IP address where the FileZilla server will be made available. For local connections leave the checkbox check to confirm the choice to use the local IP instead. Remember that to allow users to connect from the internet you need to make sure firewalls and routers are properly set. The last dialog recaps all configurations. Please double check them all. Make sure both your router and firewall are configured so that the connections can pass through. If everything looks good click on the finish button. The log will show that a new configuration has been successfully stored. If you want you can use our online FTP tester to see if everything works. Manual configuration. Actually, you can also configure FileZilla server without using the wizard. Click on the passive mode tab. The window dialog contains all configurations. To use a custom range of ports, select the use custom port range checkbox. Now enter the lower bound in the first field and the upper bound in the second one. Consider setting the range greater than the number of transfers that will take place in a 4 minutes interval. For example, the current range would be able to accommodate at least 5000 transfers in that period of time. If you want the FileZilla server to be reachable via the internet, in the next field you need to enter its public IP address or its host name. By default, FileZilla server uses the default host for local connections. You might deselect that option to test locally your network configuration though. Now let's see how to connect to FileZilla server in active mode. For this part of the video, we'll use FileZilla Pro client. Make sure FileZilla server is allowed to establish outgoing connections to arbitrary ports, since it is the client deciding which port to use. Check your firewall configurations and update them if needed. Now launch FileZilla Pro to test your connection. In the settings go to FTP and select active mode. You might want to limit the number of ports to be used, by default are not limited. By default, FileZilla Pro asks the operating system for the machine's IP address. That works only if you are connected to the internet directly, without any NAT router and if the firewall allows connections on all ports greater than 1024. If you are connected to the internet via a NAT router, if you have a static IP address, select use the following IP address and enter it. If you don't have a static IP, select get external IP from the following URL and enter your dynamic IP provider or use the one provided by FileZilla Pro. Double check you open the ports in your firewall and that you set appropriate routing rules on your NAT router to forward these ports to your machine. Now you should be able to connect to the FileZilla server. FileZilla server is fast and reliable and it supports FTP and FTPS. Download it from FileZilla website, where you can also buy the manual. Stay tuned for the next tutorial videos.